We are near Camden, South Carolina at the studio of David Russell. David is a glass artist. And David, how did you find yourself drawn to working in this medium? Well, when I was exposed to it, it really just drew me right in. It, it's, very, it's the ultimate malleable material, and I was fortunate enough to be exposed to it at the Penland School of Crafts in Western North Carolina when I was younger. I, I took a little break from my regular college studies and enrolled there, and, and it kind of changed the path I was on. What makes glass so fascinating to you? I really like being part of an ancient tradition, and I, I work in some of the older techniques, and I love doing it the way they did it, and kind of just being part of that tradition from long ago in history, I, you know, I find that very fulfilling. When I look at your work, one of the things that I was so intrigued by is there seems to be some very definite, um, definitive, reprodu reproducible elements, and yet it is malleable, so how do you control the glass so that you can have this figurative work within it? I can I use a specially formulated glass that's ultra dense and I can use that glass to make uh, spiraling rods that I will then uh, dress a bubble with and I can also alternate that with other colored rods that I, I can make here that I have in front of the table in front of us today and when you cover a bubble in those rods and the bubble is blown out and gets thinner it really can bring out the geometric patterns and, and various designs that are often look like they've been woven uh, in history. It was often called, referred to as woven glass. And this is a technique that the Venetians used. It is, a Venetian technique. Uh, the rods I have here in front of me are from the Zanfirico technique, and that's a type of spiraling rod. And those, all, almost all those patterns were first pioneered just before the Renaissance in Venice. Um, earlier today, we got to watch you make some canes or rods and then use them to make a vessel. So will you describe to us the fascinating process that we went through with you? Certainly. First, we gathered some uh, clear glass from outside from the furnace, and we used that to pick up a, a, some rods that I'd already stretched out. And those rods were then melted into the surface of that glass. And I made an area on the end of that where I could grab it with my shears. And so when I stretched it out this time, instead of it being a solid line, I was able to twist while I pulled, wow. making a spiraling rod much akin to a candy cane, actually. And I was able to make about six feet of that. These rods, now you'll be able to make an actual vessel with us. And so there's, we're going to be doing a lot of the same work towards a different end. So let's talk again, what steps did we go through? That's true. I take the rods that we just made, and I'll lay them out on the plate that's in the oven that keeps them hot enough for me to use, and I will then create a bubble of crystal glass from the furnace and measure that out. It needs to be just the right size so that uh, the rods will cover the surface the right way and don't leave me too, too many blank spaces. And so I will uh, heat the bubble up so they'll stick to each other and open up the oven door and roll it right across the top of those rods and have them adhere to the surface. And then I can use the reheating chamber to get them very hot and use this uh, steel table to help smooth everything in a little bit. And you are using a lot of just your manual dexterity. I mean, there's a lot of twisting and pulling and tapping. Um, and you're using tr tools that look traditional. Are That's they... true. The tools I use are just right out of history from about 1,000, 1,500 years ago. They were using the same tools. Essentially, they haven't really changed. Uh, at all since then and I enjoy that just like I enjoy doing those techniques I enjoy doing it the way they would do it. Well it's been a fascinating experience for us um, to see someone who has mastered a technique to the degree that you have and is using so many fascinating elements to make your decorative pieces more interesting than many that I've seen. I want to thank you for letting us come and visit with you and if people want to know more about David Russell's wonderful creations, where do they go? Certainly, they can go online to uh, www.russellglassworks.com and on there you can find a, a bio about me and all, all my glass history and you can also see an extensive body of my work. There's uh, also a schedule of where I'll appear at, at art shows throughout the East Coast will be listed there as well. Well, we are fortunate and proud to have you as one of the artists who is functioning and working in South Carolina. And thanks for letting us visit you today. Oh, thank you. I'd love to visit. Have a great day.